fundamental theorem of algebra. A polynomial function of degree n has n complex zeros, real and nonreal. Some of these zeros may be repeated. This is a significant result related to the complex numbers, demonstrating the existence of complex roots for polynomial equations. The fundamental theorem of algebra and the linear factorization theorem tell us of the existence of zeros and linear factors, but not how to find them. One connection is lost going from real zeros to complex zeros. If k is a nonreal complex zero of a polynomial function, then k is not an x-intercept of the graph of f. The other connections hold whether k is real or nonreal. In the examples we have considered, we observed the presence of complex conjugate pairs of zeros. For instance, for the polynomial function y equals x minus i, x plus i, if we expand it using FOIL method, x i and negative x i are cancelled, and i squared is negative 1. Therefore, it becomes x squared plus 1. This polynomial has two zeros, i and minus i, but neither of them is a real number, so they do not intersect the x-axis when you graph it. For the polynomial function y equals x minus 1, x minus i, x plus i. We expand it to x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1. This polynomial has three zeros, i, minus i, and 1, but only 1 is a real number, so it is the only x-intercept when you graph it. For the polynomial function y equals x minus 1, x minus 1, x minus i, x plus i, when we expand the real part in front and the imaginary part behind, it looks like this. We expand it to y equals x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x plus 1. This polynomial has four zeros, i, minus i, and two repetitions of 1, but 1 is the only real number and the only x-intercept when you graph it. In a previous class, you learned about the quadratic formula for quadratic equations of the form x squared plus bx plus c equals 0 with real coefficients. If the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is negative, you have complex solutions. This concept generalizes to higher degree polynomial functions as follows. If f x is a polynomial function with real coefficients, and a plus b, i, is a zero of f, x, where b does not equal zero, then its complex conjugate a minus b, i, is also a zero of f, x. In the three examples we discussed earlier, we saw that i and minus i always come in pairs. When you encounter a problem like, write a polynomial function of minimum degree in standard form with real coefficients whose zeros include minus 3 and 2 minus i, you should be aware that the complex conjugate, 2 plus i, exists as well. For this particular problem, you can set up the polynomial as, x plus 3, x minus, 2 minus i, x minus, 2 plus i. When you expand this expression, you should simplify it step by step. making it easier to work with. x minus 2 plus i, x minus 2 minus i, can be simplified to, x minus 2, squared minus i squared, by using difference of two squares pattern. And substitute negative 1 for i squared. Now, when you multiply this with, x plus 3, you'll get y equals x cubed minus x squared minus 7x plus 15. This is your polynomial function in standard form with real coefficients. See you next time!